In this video, I'm going to explain you how you can blacklist words on Nightbot. My name is Tree, and I make stream support videos. Stream smarter, not harder. Before I begin, I stream every Tuesday and Friday, 8pm Central European Time on twitch.tv slash Tree. This video is part of a series that explains everything about Nightbot. If you want to see the other videos, check them out here in the card above. First thing we need to do is go to nightbot.tv. Click on login and log in with your Twitch. If you're new to Nightbot, you will see join channel. Click on that. If you're not new to Nightbot and you've been here before, it will say part channel. Do not click on that. What we want to do now is go to our own channel and go to our chat. And then type slash mod Nightbot. Enter. For me, it's already mod, so I don't have to worry about it, but make sure to do this step. By the way, this is my Dutch channel and not my normal English one. We're going back to Nightbot. Now, here on the left, you see spam protection. Click on that one. And then we see blacklist word and phrases. You want to enable this and then click on options. Here it says blacklist and it says, this is the list of filtered words and phrases you wish to block. Enter one entry per line. You can use an asterisk as a wildcard character to dynamically filter chat. For example, tests. Blocks test, testing, testerino, etc. So if there's a word that you want to not display in any capacity, so right now the word test is in testing and in testerino because you see test in here. If there's a word in there that you want to be blocked anyhow in any capacity, you see asterisk. So what, what do we want to be blacklist? There's tons of things we want to be blacklist, but obviously uh, filthy words, bassist words, maybe your address if, you know, your street name, your city if you don't want to, you know, tell that. Although your city might be relevant to other people's stories, so you want to be careful with that, but maybe your street name, right? I'm not gonna type in bad words right now because I don't want you to see bad words and I don't want YouTube to see bad words either. Demonetize. <laughs> But you guys know what kind of words I'm talking about that you want to blacklist. And then we have check username. This means that we also check usernames on these words. So if somebody has, for example, the N word in their username, this filter will automatically also work on their username. And not only to the things they do in chat. If you don't take this, this will only apply on things in chat and not their usernames. Then here we have timeout length. This means that if somebody actually posts one of the things that you have in your blacklist or have that in their name, they're going to be timed out. This is the amount of time they're going to be timed out. Six and a seconds, that's 10 minutes. That's enough time for you or any of the mods to block this person if they're really bad news. I would recommend making this something quite long so you have the time to block them. You can always untime out them manually if it was a mistake. Then we have exempt user level. This means that this person of this rank doesn't have to be checked. So right now it says moderator. That means that any moderator can type these words, these bad words, and not be timed out. We can also set this on VIPs or regulars, subscribers. I would never set this on everybody because then this whole thing is useless. I would recommend just having it on moderator and maybe even owner because these are words that you just don't want to be said in your chat. And then we have silent. Which means that if we click on this thing, we take this, that Nightbot will not say, I just timed out somebody, but we'll just do it without saying it. I wouldn't flow your chat with messages like, timed out this person. And then here we have a message. We can let the bot say something like, you said some bad words. You can say it in the corner. If you don't want to write anything, this will just be the default message. So you can just leave it empty if you want. And then we click on submit. And now it works. Just check if you enabled it. So if this says disable, it is enabled. So that's how you blacklist words in Nightbot. If you want to learn more about Nightbot, go with me to a playlist where I explain everything about Nightbot right here. 